<laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is Joyce, I'm back again with another video. <laughs> Guys, I always tell you that every day there's something new to learn on my channel. And today we are going to learn about what would happen in case you are a peer holder and you travel outside Canada and then you realize that you cannot come back because maybe your um, PR card expires when you're outside Canada. So thank you so much for your support this far. Uh, in case you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly remember to subscribe and uh, leave uh, uh, the notification bell on so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube gets to notify you. Also remember to like and share this video. So uh, today, as I have told you, let us look at um, what happens in case you lose your PR card or in case uh, your PR card expires when you're outside Canada. Uh, for example, in case you had left the country to go for vacation and then you overstayed and your PR expires, what would happen? So um, let us see. Uh, re uh, returning to Canada without a permanent resident card, you need a valid permanent resident card resident card to return to Canada by plane, train, bus, or boat. So uh, what to do if you don't have a valid PR card or your card is about to expire? If you're outside Canada, apply for PR, a permanent resident travel document to return to Canada. If you want to leave Canada, renew your PR card before you leave. If you don't get your card in time, apply for permanent resident travel document from outside Canada. So here they are saying that in case you're outside Canada and you your PR card expires or you lose it, you can go to the embassy and apply for travel document. Uh, this is because they are not going to allow you to, even if you are a PR, uh, we all, we, you know, we know that um, when you become a permanent resident, you are always a permanent resident. Whether your card expires, uh, whether you lose it, you, you never lose that status unless you withdraw from becoming a, um, a permanent resident. So there is no single day that you're ever going to lose your status unless yourself, you you know, you decide that you don't want to uh, to become one. You can you can decide that, and then you can withdraw your status. Otherwise, uh, in case your documents expires, they have stated here that you need to go to the embassy and apply for travel document. This is something that happened to us when we had left Canada and um, our travel document, I think not for all of us, one of us it got lost and uh, we had to apply for this travel document uh, from the embassy and we got it and we were able to return. So I thought this information is very important because somebody could be stranded, you don't know what you're supposed to do or in case you have heard of somebody who doesn't know what to do, uh, this is what you're supposed to do. So permanent residents must have a valid permanent resident card always, okay? Or permanent resident travel document. A permanent resident travel document is like a visa. You know, you know how a visa looks like. A visa is like a stamp that is done on the on the passport. Uh, but a permanent resident card is a separate card, different from the passport. So this uh, travel document is like a visa that is going to be stamped on your, on your passport to allow you to come back to Canada. Then once you come back to Canada, you can now uh, apply for to renew your, your PR. But I think I recommend that you don't apply immediately. <laughs> I apply in case you are in such a situation, wait until you come back to Canada, you accumulate your days. Don't apply before you accumulate two years. Because for us, what happened is that we applied immediately when we came back to Canada. 
and uh, they did not release the, the, the cards until we accumulated the two years. So I thought it is, you're supposed to wait until you accumulate the two years. Actually, they waited until the date when we accumulated two years, and then they, they released our, our, our PR cards. So uh, when you, as long as you're within Canada and you're not intending to leave, uh, just wait for uh, to accumulate two years and then you can apply to renew your PR card as long as you're in Canada and you're not intending to leave. So PR card needs to be valid all the time when you show it. Uh, if your card expires, you will have to apply for a new one. You are still a permanent resident card. Uh, you're still a permanent resident if your card expires. This is what I had said earlier. You never lose your status, even if your card expires. Even if you're outside Canada and your card expires, you never lose your status. Okay? So, uh, these are some of the questions. These questions, I always tell you to always check on them. That what happens if my PR card expires while I'm uh, outside Canada? So, these are questions that people post to the IRCC, and then these answers are from the IRCC. So they, has, they have stated here that you need a valid PR to return to Canada. And uh, if you know that your card will expire when you're traveling, renew it before you leave. Yeah, it is advisable that in case you see that your PR card is almost expiring and you're in Canada and you intend to go back to your home country, try to renew it before you go for your vacation or before you travel. Okay, you can only renew your card while in where, where you're in Canada. So you cannot renew it outside Canada. I told you that in case you find yourself outside Canada, you can only go to your embassy and ask them to give you the travel document, but they can never renew for you. You can only be able to renew your card when you're back to Canada. So they don't send their PR card to non-Canadian addresses and they don't allow that, part, that parties to get them for you. So actually what happened for us is that uh, after we applied and we accumulated the two years, they called us to, did they call us? What happened? No, they didn't call us. Exactly when the time was, um, we had accumulated two years, they sent the cards to our home address. So as they have stated here, they have said that they, they don't send to non-Canadian addresses. That means that in case you're in a home country outside Canada, they cannot send your card to that address. So, uh -huh. so here they have stated that uh, if your card expires when you're outside Canada, you still have your permanent resident status. I say that to keep your PR status, you need to stay in Canada for a certain amount of time. This is what, guys, I always tell you that for you to retain or to renew uh, this permanent resident card, uh, you know, you always they always give you a card that is valid for five years. But for you to renew it, you need to accumulate at least two years. At least two years for you to be able to renew it. Um, in case you're able to stay here, uh, accumulated uh, an accumulation of three years, you can be able to apply for your passport. But to renew your card, it is two years. So in case you know that you're not going to leave Canada, you can just wait for the three years and then you apply for your, your um, passport to become a citizen. Okay? So something else, uh, in case you leave Canada and you find that your PR has expired, as they had said earlier, they say that some example, okay, yeah, it's, it's actually right here. I didn't know they had stated it here. So what happens if your PR card expires when you're outside Canada depends on how you plan to return. Okay, this is very important. I wanted to highlight this one. Um, using a private vehicle. There are other documents you can use to re-enter the country. When you return to Canada, ap apply for a PR card. If you plan to travel outside Canada, this is just repetition. Some examples of private vehicles include, but are not limited to, a car, truck, motorcycle, recreational vehicle that you own, borrow, 
or rent. It is a vehicle not available for public use. This point is very important. In case your PR card expires when you're outside Canada and you need to use um, an aircraft or let's say commercial means, yeah, either you want to come uh, by air or by a ship, or buses which are public, any commercial means of transport, you need a valid PR or a travel document. But here they have stated that in case you you, you want to re-enter Canada and you don't have a valid PR and you don't have this travel document, you can use a private vehicle, okay? You can use a private vehicle to re-enter Canada or you can even walk on the border. So what you can do is maybe you can go through the U.S. Once you're in the U.S., then you can look for the, you know, for a legal uh, border and then you enter Canada. By walking, they are going to allow you to walk to Canada. Uh, if not that, you can use a private vehicle. You can use your personal car or uh, they have said you can borrow it or rent. Either a personal car, a truck, a motorcycle or a recreational vehicle. You can enter by those cars and uh, they, they, they are okay with that. So, but it is always, let us stay here, let us state here that it is always very important that you make sure that your documents are always valid. Don't wait until your documents expire. It's not, it's not good. Don't do that. Always make sure that you travel when you have valid documents. So don't overstay outside the country, outside Canada, and then you wait until your documents expires. But just in case you lose your documents, you know that is something that it's not in your control. You can always go and apply for a travel document. Okay? Remember there is urgent processing. Urgent processing, you pay more. Uh, actually, I didn't tell you how much you're supposed to pay. It's $50 to renew a PR. $50, $50 Canadian dollars to renew a PR. Yeah? So, validity. Most PR cards are valid for five years, but some are only valid for one year. So, the, the ones which are val valid for one year are very unique, but the expiry date is printed on the card. When your PR card expires, you can't use it to travel. Okay? If your PR card will expire within six months, you should apply to renew your card. You need to be in Canada. If you're re-entering Canada by commercial vehicle and have expired PR card, get your PR travel document to re-enter Canada. Check the processing times right here. Okay? I am a new permanent resident of Canada. Do I need to apply for PR? Yeah. So, no, we will mail you. Here they have stated that you don't need to apply for a PR. They are going to mail your permanent resident card to you when you arrive in Canada. So, this is what I always tell you, that if it is your first time to become um, a PR or a permanent resident, you you cannot have this card when you're in your home country. What they give you is the landing documents. And then when you come to Canada and you have a permanent resident or a permanent address, they're going to mail the PR card to that address. So if, if you did not provide your Canadian mailing address, when you become a permanent resident, use our online address notification tool. So you need to, up, you up, you need to update it here. You must provide your addresses within 180 days of the day you become a permanent resident, okay? Uh, if you do not send within 180 days, we will cancel the PR and you'll have to apply for another one and pay the processing fee. Wow, that's so serious. So make sure that you, you keep these dates, okay, so that you don't lose it. What happens if my PR card expires while I'm outside Canada? That one, we, we talked about it. How long will it take to process my PR card? It's right here. I know with COVID, things have changed. Uh, so you also need to consider 
the status of uh, COVID-19. How long will it take to process my PR? You can check current processing times for PR, but there is also urgent processing. Okay, let's see the current. Oh, there's some information here you need to, to, to put in. Okay. Uh, select the application type. You come here and click whether it's temporary. We are not going to do this. We are not going to do this, but you can always do that in case you... This, is, this was just a tip to show you that uh, this information is available. And as always, I'm checking it under IRCC. So you need, in case you're falling under this category, you need to come here and study more. Uh, I need to leave Canada and I do not have a PR card. Can I later re-enter Canada? This one, we have talked about it. Okay. How do I renew my PR card? Renewing your PR card, of course, we talked about it. If your PR card expires, you will or will expire in nine months, you need to apply for a new card. The new card will have a new application date. Most new PR cards are valid for five years. To be eligible for PR card, you need to be a permanent resident. Submit your permanent, your application in Canada, how to submit and all that. Okay. So that is very important. Some people... Uh, find this themselves in uh, such a situation and you don't know what to do. But at least now when I have uh, talked about this here, at least you can help somebody or even yourself when you come to Canada and maybe you, you find yourself in such a situation. You remember that one day I talked about this and you'll get back to these videos and watch. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It is so, it is very late here. It is actually midnight. <laughs> Everybody has gone to sleep. <sighs> Guys, uh, but I have to do a video. <laughs> I don't like failing to do this. Uh, that is why I had to do it this late. And I know you appreciate. I also appreciate you a lot. Thank you so much. Kindly remember to subscribe and share this information and like and leave a comment. Uh, remember, do not get conned. You should not give anybody money to do anything for you concerning coming to Canada. Uh, my information is free of charge. So um, just be informed because I know there is somebody who is purporting to be me and he's claiming that um, he's handling the, the immigration process on my behalf. So thank you so much and God bless you. Bye-bye.